Welcome to UBC Small Business. We're here at Baroque College for none other than the 10th Annual World Trade Week International Awards Breakfast. It is hosted by the New York District Export Council and is presented by none other than Cohn Resnick. We have a wonderful show for you, so you don't want to go anywhere. You want to keep it right here. We'll be right back. Welcome to the red carpet. We have none other than Chuck Ludmer, Principal and Chief Marketing Officer for Cohen Resnick. Welcome to the red carpet. How are you this afternoon? Oh, oh terrific. This morning. This morning. Uh, very good. Very good. Early morning, but doing very well. Now talk about Cohen Resnick and all the success that you guys have and why is it important to have international trade? Well, Cohen Resnick is the 10th largest accounting, tax, and consulting firm in the United States. We're headquartered here in New York City and we have 25 offices throughout the U.S. focused on servicing a, a diverse clientele with a particular focus in assisting middle market companies as they look to go abroad throughout the world. We're senior members or managing members of uh, Nexia International, the 10th largest international accounting, tax and consulting network throughout the world. Now Chuck, um, as far as the international trade, why is international trade so important? Well, as markets and companies mature, we tend to need to look for new opportunities, and those opportunities evolve throughout the globe. And with the advent of technology and the ease of access, international trade has become an important element in the growth of middle market companies. One of the main reasons why Cohn Resnick is the presenting sponsor for today's event. Now, as far as the last thing, as far as award ceremonies and giving recognition to people that participate in international trade, this is the 10th anniversary. Talk a little bit about the elation. You've been a co-chair for five years now. Talk a little bit about that. Well, World Trade Week New York City really raises the awareness of international trade and it provides very valuable educational seminars to small and mid-sized companies that open their eyes into how to expand globally and through, again throughout the world. Well, Chuck, thank you very much for gracing us with your time. Continued success to you. And we have so much more from the 10th Annual World Trade Week International Awards Breakfast. We'll be right back. Welcome back. We have another one of the co-chairs for this morning's award breakfast. It is none other than Rick Larrabee. Welcome. How are you this morning? I'm good. Thank you. Now, everybody's been talking about the importance of international trade. Why is it so important for the New York Port Authority of New York and New Jersey participating in international trade? Well, I think most Americans don't realize, but about 25 to 30 percent of our national economy is based on international trade, and that trade is growing. Um, our interest is in, uh, if, if you're going to have trade, you have to have transportation. You have to move goods from one place to another, and we're in the business of moving goods. Um, my job as director of the port is to make sure that we have the ability to handle the kinds of cargoes that, that come here every day, or, or leave here as an export. And, you know, that's very key, too. As far as the award ceremony, you are a co-chair. Right. Why do you feel the importance of co-chairing, and why is this award ceremony so important? Well, the ceremony itself uh, recognizes and acknowledges the work that a lot of people are doing uh, in our field, uh, both in terms of trade and developing trade, as well as in transportation. Um, this morning, we're going to recognize a number of folks, both small businesses as well as government agencies like uh, Customs and Border Protection, who really are helping us facilitate trade. And you're quite busy because you're not only doing the opening remarks, but you're also a presenter. And how does that feel, just honoring other folks? It's great. Uh, you know, this is a, an event that we look forward to every year. It's been growing for the last 10 years. This is the 10th year that we've done this. And uh, it's a real honor for me to be part of this. Well, continued success to you. We have more, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back for UBC Small Business. And we're back. We have none other than President and CEO of NYC and Company, Mr. Fred Dixon. Welcome to UBC Small Business. How are you this morning? Doing great, thank you. It's good to be here. Now, for those individuals that don't know what NYC and Company is, could you briefly tell them what and how important you are for the commerce of New York City? Well, thank you very much. Uh, NYC and Company is the official tourism and marketing office for the City of New York. And we represent about 2,000 private industry companies working in the travel and hospitality field. And last year, tourism in New York City generated over $41 billion in economic impact. 
Amazing. It's one of the key cities of our USA. Now, why is international trade so important, not only for New York City, but just for commerce overall? Well, uh, international tourism inbound to the United States is international trade, and that's something that we love to talk about. It's, uh, tourism is all about bringing new dollars into the community, um, and it's great we can bring new dollars from outside the United States into the market. So as a service industry, tourism plays an important role in international trade, uh, and it's a sector that's been growing quite rapidly since the recession in late 2008, 2009, and we're projecting growth well into the future, creating jobs across all five boroughs and increasing the tax base. I can see why you're the keynote speaker. And why is this award breakfast so important to you to come and attend and speak? Thank you. Well, it's my second time being here. I was here about seven years ago and had a great experience. Uh, it's wonderful to put focus on international trade, and there's no better place to do that than New York City. Uh, you know, it's the number one port of entry for the United States, and it's the center of ca uh, commerce and business. So we're thrilled to be here and kick off this week, and it's appropriate to do it here in New York. Well, thank you much. That's Fred Dixon for NYC and Company for UBC Small Business. We'll be right back. Welcome. We're back with Adele Fasano, one of the Global Tra Trade Award recipients. Congratulations. Now, you work for the New York Field the Office of Custom and Border Protection. That is so important. What goes into a job like that? Well, we're in charge of the uh, maintaining national security in the New York, New Jersey metropolitan area, particularly in screening uh, people and goods coming into the United States from abroad to ensure we keep the country safe. Yeah, every time I take a cruise, I got to deal with you guys. <laughs> you know, you mentioned that there is a whole team behind you. How important is international trade and why does your team focus on that? Uh, international trade is a very important part of our mission. Um, while we have a focus on enforcement and an anti-terrorist mission, we're very much uh, committed to facilitating legitimate trade and travel. So working with our international trade partners is a very important part of our mission. And last but not least, what did it feel like to be an award recipient for global trade? Uh, it's very exciting. Uh, typically, uh, we don't get awards in Customs and Border Protection from our trade partners, but there's such a tremendous partnership in this area that I believe it's really a reflection of the great work that goes on here. Well, Adele, thank you so much for keeping our borders and our citizens safe. More from UBC Small Business. I'm your host, Amelia Moore. We'll be right back. We're here with Andy Janzak from Enacom. Welcome. Now, you guys were an award recipient today. Talk about the award and how it felt to receive it. Uh, it was great. It's, uh, it was an Export Achievement Award where I, uh, part of a, a program with the Department of Commerce called Vets Go Global, uh, which is uh, a, a, an initiative that helps uh, veteran-owned businesses expand internationally, find distribution, and uh, since we've been in business for 25 years, uh, export has been a huge part of what we do. We're a U.S. manufacturer, but we export now to more than 60 countries around the world, and a lot of that expansion, or at least a good part of it, has been due to our efforts and work with the Department of Commerce and different initiatives, so it was just an award recognizing all of that work. How important is international trade, especially you do the solar panels, correct? No, no, we do oh. uh, different, different types of uh, repair materials, uh, uh, polymer repair materials that are used to rebuild and resurface different types of equipment, protect them against erosion, corrosion, and wow. chemical attack, that type of thing. Gotcha. And how important is international trade? Oh, it's very important. It's. Uh, I think the congressman was saying today it's important for people to realize that when they hear about trade or or exports, sometimes people think that means exporting jobs or or sending business overseas. But really, it's quite the opposite. We're an American manufacturer, and uh, more than half, probably, of what we do is export business. And I think a lot of businesses would uh, would do well to 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 try to grow their business in terms of exports because it really is a great way to expand. Well, Andy, continued success to you and Anacom, and thank you so much. This is Amelia Moore for UBC Small Business. We're here with another award recipient, Elaine Kellogg from Gray Lines. Now you see those double-decker buses. They've been in operation since the 1920s. Congratulations to you. How are you today? Oh, I'm feeling so terrific about this. Thank you. <laughs> now, why is international trade so important, especially for a tourism company like yourself? Well, a lot of people really don't see tourism as international trade, but it is. And um, uh, the international visitors are extremely important to um, New York City and to our business and constitute a good percentage of our passengers. 
You know, and it's so great because you guys also do the motor coaches and all of that fun stuff. So it's like expansion and watching that grow. As far as today's event, mm -hmm. I know being a recipient was exciting, but what do you say to others that are involved in international trade, why they should come and participate in this event? Well, I think um, this event pulls everyone together to um, really explore the opportunities of international trade and to acknowledge, to acknowledge the successes that others have had. And successes of others always inspire us to do more. Well, continued success to you. And remember, your network is directly connected to your net worth. So come out and network. It's Amelia Moore for UBC Small Business. We'll be right back. Well, that concludes our show for today. Remember, you're only as good as who knows how good you are. So get known, not only nationally, but internationally. And we hope to see you again this time next year at World Trade Week. For UBC Small Business, I'm your host, Amelia Moore, saying good night.